Hi guys, it's Toby from Learn Thai with Toby. Welcome to my channel. This video is gonna be about Thai slang in texting. After watching this video, you'll be able to text in Thai and understand Thai people's texting or understand what your girlfriend is gossiping about you. Disclaimer, these words are grammatically incorrect but we use them all the time and only for chatting. If you use in a conversation, people won't understand. But there are some words that we use for both written, informally chatting and spoken Thai. All right, let's get started. Five, five, five. What is it? This one is a classic one that you might confuse when you see it for the first time. So five, 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 it's LOL in English, ha ha ha. It came from the sound that when we are laughing. Usually it's only three figures. The more digits of five you put, the more funny it is. And if you add plus sign, that means it even funnier. Tho tho tho. What is tho tho tho? This one is just like five five five. If you have a Thai keyboard, you will see number five and tho thung are on the same key. Sometimes we tend to type 5, but we forget to switch the language. And then you will get tho 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 automatically instead of 555. Five, five. But nowadays we tend to type tho tho tho, which means the same thing as 555. Five, five. D. D. What is D? Yeah. The same word as the word good, but we use it at Hello, it's neutral and it doesn't like you copy and paste it from Google Translate and it's really casual. Sometimes we would say D ka for a female speaker and D cup for male speakers. Cup, cup, club, they all pronounce club and they are club in Thai. There are three relations of club. It means club and it's used the same as the correct club. So when you prolong it, club just makes it sound sweeter. Rak club, rak club, I love you. Just like 555. The more I, ah, the more it sounds sweet. But sometimes girls might think it looks tolle. <laughs> ขอขอขอจุด it stand for คิดถึงคิดถึงคิดถึงนะคิดถึงนะ I miss you I don't think the receiver will appreciate it if you use acronym instead of typing the whole phrase uh, however I've got a trick for you if you're using an iPhone you can set your own shortcut just go to setting and general and then keyboard text replacement. Now you can set any phrase or sentence that you frequently use. Just tap plus and add the phrase that you want and set your own shortcut too. The shortcut will link to all of your devices if you sign in with the same Apple ID. So if you are a boy and you want to save time and pretend that you put a lot of effort into chatting. It works for any language, but I'm not sure how many characters it limits one. All right, let's move on to the next one. So, so, wo, suk san wan good. Again, it shows that you are lazy. I hope the trick that I gave you earlier will be useful and sorry for Android users if it has this feature. So let me know, I'm not sure. Ta or ti mi ta or me. But some people like to add my egg at cha. It means Thai mai. Thai mai. Gin khao lao cha. Gin khao lao cha. Thung ba lao cha. Thung ba lao cha mai. Gin khao lao cha mai. E, 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 e. It's a soft laugh like haha. <laughs> it used at the end of a sentence to convey don't take what. I'm saying seriously. Or you can say anything and add e, e at the end to show that you are just kidding or that when you want someone to know that you are in a good mood. 
when you chatting with them, there are versions of this word like "ho ho" or "ki ki." They are the same thing, but it, it it's the original one and the most common. Don't use it too much because it people might find it's annoying. Pono, pono, it's prung ni, prung ni, pono. Jergan pono, jergan prung ni. See you tomorrow. Wano, it's wan ni, wan ni, wang, wan ni, ru, pung ni, wang, wano. หรือพอนอ I free today or tomorrow ผู้ชายผู้ชาย it's man another version is ผู้ when girls say ผู้ or mention you as ผู้ it means you are just one of her guys not a special one or it could mean that you are at the state that when you are getting to know each other but are not committed to a relationship Just yet. You nai, you nai. It's you nai, you nai. Why Thai just take too long to type the word you? So we shorten it to just you instead of typing the whole you or an yo yak sala u my egg. We just shorten it to yo yak sala u. You nai, you nai. Where are you? So this is the most common one. For it's fa rang fa rang. Yeah, you guys know that it's low tone fa rang, right? But when we speak it, it sounds like fa rang. You know what fa rang means because everybody knows that why we have to create a new word and we use this word in spoken language too. For for it's fa rang. Pong, pa mung. Or man, it's man. Mung. In Thai culture, we truly respect our parents. So when you want to call someone names, we tend to mention their parents, and that's gonna hurt them a lot. This is extremely rude, and only close friend will use this word with each other and not get offended. Or sometimes it could mean man or. Pong. So we're gonna type this word first, and then follow by whatever word that you want to complain or want to tell a story to your friend. It has to be a bad one, otherwise you wouldn't swear. Yo, yo, it's ro, ro, yeah. Just make it sound cuter when you're chatting. ไม่คิดถึงเขาหรอไม่คิดถึงเขาหรอ My kid, tung kau ro. My kid, tung kau ro. Don't you miss me? By the way, kau is incorrect. The correct one is kau kau. But in chatting, nobody cares. Pao pao. It's blau blau. So this one just like you. It's just easier to type pao. โกหกเขาหรอโกหกเขาหรอ Are you lying to me? เปล่าเปล่า Nope. ไรไร It's a ไร Even though we speak with the lolling, but only a few people will spell it with lolling. It means what? ทำไรทำไร What you doing? จิ It's ดิออร์สิ A particle placed at the end of a sentence to emphasize a statement or indicate a request. ยาเยอะจียาเยอะจี It's ยาเยอะสิยาเยอะสิ Don't be too hard to please. So the word จี It's softer. สิ and ดิฟายฟาย Sometimes you might see I fly. I fly. Fly is quiet. It means stupid. The literal translation of the word quiet is buffalo. It means nothing if you use it between friends, like you call your best friend son of a bitch. 
you wouldn't get mad, right? But if it's used by a stranger, you would punch them in the face right away. Another way of writing "kui" is "kui," and it's a lot stronger than "fai." Where where is the "fai" come from? So some Thai people they can't pronounce the cluster, the "kum kuap glam," or or they might can, but sometimes when we speak faster, it will become "fai fai um um." It's okay. This one just like okay, but you would just type K like in English when you're sick of chatting with that person. You or you wanna end a conversation. If your girlfriend sent just um, that means you did something wrong because she started sulking. As you guys may have noticed, these words have been converted from their original ones to make them sound nicer, softer, or cuter. Because when we're chatting, we don't really see the other person's facial expression. If I have made something, or if there is anything that you have seen but you don't know what it meant, just let me know in the comment section below. And thumbs up if you guys like this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? And I'll see you in the next one.